The National Youth Council of Nigeria has called on the members of the National Assembly to consider coming up with lasting solutions to the security challenges bedeviling the country instead of moving for the scraping of the National Youth Service Corps NYSC. In a press conference led by the North Central Vice Chairman Ambassador Koshile Mukhtar, the body expressed shock that the hallowed chamber of the House of Representatives of Nigeria will be weaponized to further a parochial and divisionist agenda couched in the move to scrap the NYSC, citing security challenges as the reason. We do not deny the fact that there are security challenges in our dear nation, but we would have expected the House to be more engaged in finding solutions to support our troops on the front line and build their morale, rather than using the legislative privileges to declare victory for enemies of our nation by calling on the staffing of this national scheme like the National Youth Service Corps. Koshley added that as representatives of the youth in Nigeria, the body is bold to say that the NYC has done more good than harm to the national development. As such, sustaining the scheme should be the priority of lawmakers rather than calling for it to be scrapped while citing other importance of the scheme. Governance is a service to the citizenry. And the only presence of government known to many Nigerians in the remote area of our dear nation is the National Youth Corps member. Posted there as community school teachers, healthcare services providers, humanitarian service providers, and, um, and what have you. It is on record through the turbulency that has characterized our country that the NYSE scheme has continued to run over the years uninterrupted for about five decades. Many Nigerians have moved to other parts of Nigeria where they have become residents and raised families through this scheme. To strike the killer blow to this scheme will be to set us back further from the path, from the path to national unity and harmonious existence of Nigeria towards the collective goals. The call to describe the NYIC scheme, which serves as a transition year for many Nigerian youth, with the, the 33,000 allowance, serving as a key financial stabilizer for many of the poor Nigerian young people, uh, is a negative message for them that the Nigerian government does not care about them. The body also called on the leadership of the House of Representatives, who she describes as people of integrity and burning passion to better the lot of Nigerians to stop the further actions on the divisible bill capable of robbing many Nigerians. The government's presence they know, while giving the lawmakers ultimatum to avert the said decision. To further give the character behind this diabolical against the progress of the poor Nigerians an ultimatum of 24 hours, to seize and retry the false who they have been flooding in the media. Failure to do this, we shall not hesitate to name and shame them as they were as well as exposing their clandestine gains to the Nigerian people for them to receive the indignation they are attempting to bring on the people of this country. Koshile further said, the National Youth Council of Nigeria stands firmly in support of the President Mohamed Buhari, the leadership of the NYC, and that of the Ministry of Youth and Sports by passing a vote of credence on the existence of the scheme. Finally, the National Youth Council of Nigeria passes a vote of confidence on the continuous existence of the NYC and its management, and all that all stakeholders should support in ensuring that this vision for a crop of independent youth is realized. The National Youth Council of Nigeria added that the call to scrap the NYSC is a fight targeting the destruction of the educational sector in its entirety, hence the media briefing. Barnabas Adam Gadaga for Ataza TV. <laughs>